As soon as they agree to a trade, at 4.01 Eastern today, the trade could be processed and he could become a Jet. And that is the only thing that now stands in the way of Aaron Rodgers playing for the New York Jets. He's playing for the Jets this year, or he's probably playing for nobody. Mm. He was never going back to Green Bay. Jordan Love was going to be the quarterback. We've said, we've said these things. We've said these things for weeks. People didn't want to believe him. Yeah, and to, and, to be, and to hear that and to hear that they told him they want you to retire a Packer upsets me. It's, you know, look, so, so, so why, can't, why can't we from the Green Bay Packer management treat players and speak to them in truths rather than do what you did even to Aaron Rodgers, which Aaron's saying you did to a lot of other players and not being honest with them face to face. I'm siding with Aaron Rodgers on some of this here because if the Packers are doing that and all of a sudden they're shopping a guy while to his face they're saying we want you to retire Packer. I'm like, well, I don't want to play for the Packers either. Again, that's according to Aaron and if it's true, you're 100% right, but Aaron and the, the, this organization, the, the, this has been publicly messy for Too quite tight. some time. So here's the thing. There's two tentacles to this, multiple tentacles, the player side, the front office side. If Sunday NFL Countdown. I'm does glad not, you have us on opposite ends, if, here, which is good. If Sunday NFL <laughs> Countdown does not create a segment this fall called "Lose My Number," I already said I'm claiming that as my new fantasy team name. Lose, Lose my, my number. number, and I keep saying it to people. Lose my number. <laughs> it's the greatest. <laughs> Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube for live streaming sports and premium content. Subscribe to ESPN Plus.